What's happening YouTube it's your boy Tetrix back with another video and today we're looking at SSDs. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of the next videos to come of tips and tricks on your iPhone and Android and unboxing just like this one. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. Hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. So let's go ahead and check this out. So normally our SSDs have been really big you need power to to uh, use it it gone into uh, about this small I've even seen one terabytes now on SD cards but today we're looking at Oracle which is a portable SSD as you can see here it's pretty small it's basically compared to my hand it's small like I'd say a quarter of my hand size that's pretty good it says in the back here that is it's a USB 3.1 Gen 2 uh, type C 10 giga gigabyte per second that's pretty good it has a 3d NAND flash it's good for uh, Mac Android Linux I'm sure we're gonna test it out today on the iPad Pro as well and the window and Windows PC I really like the call of this uh, we're gonna show you uh, we're gonna test all the speed as well how well it does and I'm planning on using this on my everyday driver keep it with me and see if it's any good this is the iMatch series let's go ahead and open it so there you go so you could see there this is the actual SSD this is also a one terabyte size so that's pretty good for one terabyte this guy is 500 GB, so as you can see, wow, it's crazy, right? This is also an NVMe uh, SSD. This is a normal SSD drive, limited up to uh, six gigabytes per second. This can go up to 10 gigabytes per second. The read and write on this is uh, 940 megabytes per second, so that's pretty good. Let's look at the inside now. What else does it come with? Um, paper, uh, some literature right here. There you go. Let's put this on the side for now. We don't need this anymore. Got some uh, lit literature right here. Some information in Chinese and in English right here. So there you go. It's pretty good. Put this on the side for now they also have QR codes for their website that's pretty cool let's put that on the side for now it also comes with two sets of cables so here um, they're really good as well really small um, it's not like no bulk to it here as you can see the type C cables right there and then the normal USB A to type C I like how small these are, short cables. So this doesn't take up that much room. And there you go. Now we're gonna go ahead and test out the speed. Here today we're gonna use the disk speed test by Blackmagic. Basically we're just gonna select the target device here which is the IV300. There you go. And once we're all ready, click the speed test start. Right now we are using the USB-C to USB-C uh, connection. It says in the box that it's supposed to do uh, 900 megabytes per second, so that's pretty good that it's doing that. Uh, basically, even with the 4K60, it's doing so well. That's pretty good. Now let's test out on the Windows. Right now we're using the USB-A connection to USB Type-C connection because we don't have a Type-C on our desktop, a Windows desktop. So as you could see the difference on the speed. It's still pretty good though for a USB-A connection. Uh, this is a USB 3, the blue looking cable. And basically it maxes out at around uh, 400 megabytes per second, which is still pretty good, I think, especially uh, you're using um, a proprietary uh, uh, slower uh, connection. That's pretty good. Now let's go ahead and show you how to use this drive for the iPad Pro or any uh, smartphone devices 
what you need to do is format your drive to an XFAT. Here's how to do it on a Mac. What you'll need to do is open up Disk Utility. Once you've done that, go ahead and look at the external hard drive there, which is the IV300, and hit Erase. And then you're just going to select the XFAT and hit Erase. That's it. Now let's do it on a Windows PC. What you need to do is locate the IV300, which is the Oracle drive. Hit uh, Format. And then make sure to check the X fat, not the NTFC, then hit start. Beware that everything will be deleted in this file. So once you're ready, hit OK. And there you go. That's all you need to do. So here you go, just to prove it to you guys that the iPad Pro can read the Oracle. You just need to plug this in on the USB drive right there. And then the iPad Pro will just take it on this side. There you go. And then you just hit the file app right there. And as you can see, IV300 right there. Now you can put all your files into the IV300, which is the Oracle. And you'll be able to use this anywhere you go. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope I was able to help you on how to use the Oracle on your iPad Pro and how well it does as well. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit that notification bell as well so you can notify on the next videos to come. If you want to get one of these, I'll link this down below. I really recommend this Oracle iMatch uh, SSD card NVMe. This, is, this comes with a lot of options as well. It has a pretty good price as well, so go ahead and check them out. It has a very fast uh, read and write and really useful for all the creatives out there who has a lot of files to transfer from your camera into your iPad or maybe even uh, on the go on your Android phones, you'll be able to use this with all those devices. If you have a Mac, a PC, you'll be able to use that with that as well. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. Hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.